Hey guys, this is Brian Roach, your real estate agent from Miami, Florida. Today I'm super excited to show you guys what we're going to talk about with Christina Fernandez from Sunset Home Mortgage, the best lender here in Miami. Hi guys, I'm Christina Fernandez with Sunset Home Mortgage and I look forward to speaking to you about home financing. Let's get started. Thank you guys for joining us today. I'm super excited. We're going to be able to talk with Christina Fernandez. She is a mortgage broker here in Miami and she's going to be able to answer lots of our questions that have to do with financing uh, to buy your first home. So Christina, thank you so much for taking some of your time to speak with us and tell our viewers a little bit about the home buying process and the, finan the financing side. Thank you, Brian. You want to let them know a little bit more about yourself, how many years you've been in the industry and, and what you guys focus on? Yes, my name is Christina Fernandez. I work for Sunset Home Mortgage. I actually own Sunset Home Mortgage. I've been in the mortgage industry for 20 years wow. and helping first time home buyers is my favorite thing to do really. Um, we do refinances, purchases, all types of financing, but first time home buying is one of the, the things I like to do the most. Of course, of course, me too, by the way. So, <laughs> Christina. For people that want to buy their, their home, whether they're currently renting or they want to buy a second home, what is the first step they got to take uh, to buy uh, the first home in terms of financing? What is the first step? So the first step is a, a pre-qualification. So you sit down with a mortgage professional like myself in our consultations. Most of the time, Brian is here too, and we just sit down and evaluate your credit, your income, and your assets. So we look at the three different points. Right of what's important in in financing and we guide you towards um towards financing so christina tell us a little bit about the different types of mortgage programs that are available for for the public okay so there are different types of loan programs there's conventional fha we have foreign national programs we have hard equity lending too the most popular is either conventional or fha which okay, is the right. typical or the lower rates, lower down payment type of programs that right. most buyers look for. Right, well now that you mentioned it, tell us a little bit about what is the percentage of down payment that people need to, to put to purchase their house. Because people usually say they need around 20 or 30 percent down. Is that true? No, not, not correct. Not for a primary residence. So for a primary residence, which is a, the property that you're going to live in, you can come in with as little as 3% down on a conventional or 3.5% down on an FHA. And to just give you an example, on a $250,000 property, 3% down payment conventional is about $7,500. To that number or to that amount, right. you need to add closing costs. And on a $250,000 property, depending on what the insurance and the taxes are, you probably need like another seven thousand five hundred to eight thousand so you can potentially buy a two hundred fifty thousand dollar property with fifteen thousand to fifteen thousand five hundred dollars wow. okay so did you guys catch that say it again one more time for our viewers to hear what is the percentage that the minimum percentage that they need to purchase a property three percent down wow so On a for, for everybody that has asked me for man I'm, I'm waiting to save up fifty a hundred thousand dollars Guys, don't you don't really need to save up that much money. If you're currently renting and you have a, a $15,000, $16,000 savings account, you can buy yourself a property with yes, that amount, can. right? Yes, you can. Exactly. Definitely. So it's definitely something to consider, especially with the interest rates being so low in today's market, yes. uh, to take advantage of creating a, a, buying yourself your first home and, and having a, a savings in the mortgage payments of your home. So now that we're on the subject, what are the benefits of buying a property, Christina? When you buy a property, you're building equity. So as once you buy that house, values go up. Right. I mean, there was a moment where they went down, but in U.S. history, they tend to... have an upward trend. Yeah, it's exactly. an upward trend, whichever mm -hmm. way you look at it. So you're building equity on that property. You're paying off every month in that payment there's a part that's going towards the principal. So it's not only what the property increases, it's also what you pay off every month. There are some tax benefits to it too. Each person has to talk to their accountant about it because it's different for, for each situation, but there are some tax benefits to it. And just the, I guess, if it, I don't know if we want to call it pride or just the of knowing that it's yours, right, that, right. that it's yours. And whatever dollar you put into that property or whatever you do to where you live, 
there's a sense of pride in owning right. your home. And it's also kind of considered yeah. the American dream to yes. own your property because it, it kind of gives is, you the yeah. freedom of doing whatever you guys want with your home. You don't have to be asking for permission from a landlord right. if you want to paint your bedrooms, if you want to fix your kitchen, right. and whatever you put into the property that you bought is will yours. be is yours. And whenever if you decide to sell later on, it's obviously value that you put into it that you will be able to get out at the time of sale for the most right. part. So, well, now that we mentioned about all the benefits of buying your home, tell us a little bit more about what uh, the structure of the mortgage payment on a monthly basis what is what do you pay on a monthly basis when you have a mortgage when you have a mortgage you pay principal and interest which is the part where you're paying back the loan then you pay property taxes insurance most loans have what's called mortgage insurance if you don't give a 20 percent down you have to pay mortgage insurance and then if there's any hoa fees you need to pay that it that's not included in the mortgage right we include it in what's called your housing expense ratio or we include it in what you tell you we tell you you're gonna pay, but that's really not escrowed into the into the mortgage or included in the mortgage. Right, right, right. So to recap, it's principal, interest, taxes, mm -hmm. insurance, mortgage insurance, all goes into your mortgage, and then you pay your HOA if you have any. Right. You right, because in, in some cases your home might not be in an HOA, so that doesn't really apply. Correct. And in some cases you do have an HOA, and you will pay it separately. Uh, but it's still considered within the, the, the housing, housing expense. expense yeah. correct, correct, correct. So backtracking a little bit, for those people that are looking to, to buy their first home and maybe you want to uh, have heard about the first uh, home buying uh, program and process, how, how would uh, you want to mention a little bit more about the benefits of the first time home buyer uh, programs? Right. So FHA is known as a first time home buyer program. And really what it is, is when you purchase FHA, it doesn't have to be your first home. You can have had a home at another point, or you right. can even own a home right now. Right. With FHA, what it is, is you need to live in the property. So it needs to be your primary home. Now, it's known as, let's say, the first time home buyer program, or it's used a lot when uh, the person is a first time home buyer because they expand the ratios, which is, it's a number used for financing. It's, right. it's expanded, so you qualify for more power, right? for more purchasing power on the FHA. For first time home buyers, Fannie Mae has a program called Home Ready, and Freddie Mac has a program called Home Possible. Okay. They both are the 3% down. Awesome. And they give you a slightly lower rate and slightly lower mortgage insurance. You awesome. have to take a course. Um, it's fairly easy, an online course, to get that benefit, but it's it's very good. It's it's good. It gives you a decent amount of savings on your on your payment, right, right. and it's out there for for everyone to to. Right. Have. Listen, if you gotta take a quick course to save some money, sign me up, please. Yeah, it's yeah. worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Exactly. It's like a two-hour course online in at home. So it's it's definitely something worth doing. So, Christina, once the uh, a person is ready and they say, okay, I want to buy my house, mm -hmm. and they do the pre-qualification, they give you all the documentation, they get the pre-approval, and they find the right house. Let's say we go out, we show them properties, and you guys find your dream home. What is the time frame that it takes from the point that they put in an offer and it's executed until they're in the closing table getting their keys? So from the moment that they have an executed contract to the moment of the closing table is approximately 30 days. So just 30 days to get your loan approved? Correct. From, yeah. From the time you are under contract until you get your keys? Until you get your keys. We're looking that's, at 30 days. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Christina, tell us a little bit more about why is it the best time to buy real estate right now? Right now, rates are extremely low. They're the lowest they've been in the last 24 months mortgage insurance factors which is what you pay for mortgage insurance on conventional rates have been cut within the last six months wow. so that's helping payments drop it's it's definitely a good time yeah. I, the, yeah. getting into real estate and buying a property it has always been a very good investment it's the biggest investment that you're going to make it, one of the biggest investments that right. you're going to make right. but definitely right now is a good time to get to get into home. You know, buy. the lower the interest rate, pretty much what that results in is to higher purchasing power. Correct. And and just so we can get a, a point of reference here, a little fun fact for you guys. The indis, the interest rate average uh, for the United States since the days that they started recording interest rates right. 
it's around seven and a half to eight percent. So Incredible. yeah, so right now we're not even we're like a half of that. So yeah, for those of you that keep on uh, are thinking, man, is it really a good time to to buy my house now? The investment home that I'm thinking of, the 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 first the first home that I'm gonna be moving to. I think the answer is a strong yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. a yes. If people want to refinance their house, let's say they already have uh, their first home and they build a lot of equity and they want to reinvest that money into a, an another investment property or, or stocks or bonds, whatever, how does the refinance process work? How can they, they get started with that? Well, refinancing, there's different types of refinancing. It's normally if you want to cash out the money and you, want to, you have enough equity to do what's called a cash out refi, we give you money. So you basically pull equity from your property. You can use it for repairs on the home, right. buy stocks and bonds, purchase another property, that can be done. Or you can do what's called a rate and term refi, which is just to change the rate and the terms, which would be, normally would be to lower the years or lower your interest rate. And now is definitely nice. a time to look into maybe if you're at a 30 year fixed, in the high fours or low fives, definitely now would be a moment to think about maybe refinancing into a 15 year in the threes. Right, it right. makes of sense. Course, We're doing course. it a lot. Of We're course. doing it a lot. That's that's awesome because if people were purchasing at what five, six, more or less five high fours, middle fives. Right. Right now we're a lot lower than that. Yes, so, we are. So it's definitely a good time if you are thinking about it. If you maybe are in that scenario, uh, give us a call and, and obviously we'll run through uh, the scenarios and, and find out what's the best option for you guys. So Christina, I wanted to ask you, you know, I'm 24 years old. I recently graduated a couple years ago and there's a lot of people that, that, that I speak to and that, that I meet with that are more or less in the same boat, same age group, uh, about to graduate from college or already grad, just recently graduated. And, and sometimes we tend to think, man, I just graduated. No one's going to give me a loan uh, to buy a property. I want to ask you, is it possible after graduating to get a home loan to buy your first property? It definitely is. So if you've been in school and you graduated with a master's or a bachelor's one month into your new job, which has to be in the line of work that you graduated right. from, you can obtain a loan. Wow. So what we do is we use the schooling to go back two years, mm -hmm. confirm that you were in school. So you provide your transcripts, you provide your first two pay stubs and Fannie Mae and FHA, both of them will give you a loan. Wow. Yeah. Let me just emphasize on that. I don't know if you guys caught that. With only one month after graduating, after walking the stage, mm -hmm. if you're working within your field of, that you studied in, you guys can be applying for a home loan. Yes. And getting keys 30 days later Correct. for your first home. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. So, Christina, um, I think we covered a lot today. Um, I think if anybody else has any questions, they can reach out to us through the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, and let us know if you guys have any questions. Our information is going to be in this in this video as well, right. so they can reach out to us directly to ask us maybe any more specific scenario-based questions. Right. But I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for, for sitting with me and, and sharing your 20-year experience knowledge Thank you. to our viewers today. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Again. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.